All right, everybody loves model trains, but some of us are just a little bit more competitive because it's not whether you win or lose, it's whether you win, especially at pool. And I'm here with Kevin Hughes, who has created a device that's going to improve my game. What have you invented? Well, I'm part of a team that's been working on what we call augmented reality pool. Uh-huh. And I like the augmented reality of this. So this is a pool game that... It's not virtual. I mean, there's a real table here. Is it a special table? Is that what you've invented? Nope. The only, there's nothing special about the table. The whole system works using one camera that's actually mounted up above the pool table. It's kind of like the eyes of the system looking down at the table, figuring out what's going on. So, I mean, I understand how pool works, but what goes into the computer science of this kind of a game? There's kind of three major components. The first is the computer vision system, which kind of uses the camera to figure out where the balls are. Uh -huh. The next is an artificial intelligence that runs a computer simulation to figure out what the best shot to make is. And then the third is a physics simulation that kind of ties it all together. Well, the physics of pool isn't that complicated, right? Angle of incidence equals angle of reflection, la di da it comes off at the angle it went in, right? More or less, but there is sometimes spin on the ball which needs to be accounted for. Really? Spin? Yeah. You could do that in the physics simulator? Absolutely. That's cool. What about the best shot? I mean, you said it figures out the best shot, but I mean, I've got a couple of options here. I could go for 13 in the corner, I could go for 12 in the corner. What, how do I pick? Um, the, the, the way it figures out the best shot, it runs a simulation and it figures out, it kind of has a balance between what shot is the easiest to make and what uh -huh. is going to get you the best score. So it's not, and it's not just about potting balls, it's also about the leave, where you leave the cue ball after the shot. And oh, terrible. expert pool players, that's what they're thinking about, is they're thinking about where they're going to leave the cue ball after the shot. Right, so you're not just, it's not just whether or not you get it in, it's also the leave. I gotcha. Exactly. Beautiful. So, can you walk me through exactly how you interact with this? Like, how do I play with your computer program here? All right, so when you step up to take a shot, you place your cue as if you're going to take a shot, and you put it inside the white circle, uh -huh. and then that lets the system know that you're aiming and it starts looking for your cue. Dude, that looks so cool. And then it just simply starts drawing out the shot that you're about to make on the table. So you can see I'm kind of aiming around there or I might come up here and aim at this uh, 13 ball. So it's and showing you where the, where the 13 will go but also where your cue ball will go. Absolutely. That's and what, what the, and the green is? The green signals that the system is telling me that I'm going to be able to pot that 13 if I take that shot just like that. You know, most people get better at pool when they take grad studies because they spend so much time at the bar, but it looks like you're doing it the right way. Thanks a lot, Kevin. This Thanks. is fantastic. All right, let me just nail this guy.